Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I'm playing Radiation Island on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, you heard that correct. Uh, this game actually came out very recently. I think it was yesterday on the Nintendo Switch, which was available for a long time on mobile devices like Android and iOS devices. Now here, I actually wanted to start uh, from the beginning, like you saw there, I actually loaded up the game from the beginning and there's like no start menu whatsoever. So when you have a game already started, a profile already, you're just going to jump in into your, you know, save file. And, you know, in a way that's cool because there's no, you know, there's no starting menu. You could just start out of, out of scratch, right? But in this video, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start start from scratch, right? I'm gonna click right here and right here, change active profile, empty. It's gonna choose this one, and there you have it. So it's gonna start right away from the beginning, because I just want you, if just in case you are not familiar with Radiation Island, uh, somewhere in the Devil Seas, I just want you to see how it actually starts even though you can actually try it out yourself on your smartphone there you go so there's something weird going on there's no dialogue nobody is explaining you what's going on and all of a sudden things go crazy you saw a barrel there. <laughs> oh yeah. This is like a crazy dude running towards you. And... And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. So how... Okay, so now that we started, now you're gonna get the, like, uh, tu ex you know, tutorial showing you what to do. So you grab stuff like that. Okay, I grabbed it. Now I could go to the inventory. There it is. I could here I could go ahead and consume it, use, and go ahead and close it. And I could go ahead and keep keep on picking stuff. And over here you can see the, here's your backpack, here's some things there. Uh right now it's letting me know that I can actually craft something there. So I can craft this right here. Click there. Okay. Yeah, I think I guess we already did craft it. And okay, so here I could go ahead and move this to this right here. That way I can have fast access. I can move it here as well. There you go. And that's it. So I'll be here. This is how I um access these items right there. And that's it. Okay, telling me to grab something. Okay, I already did. I already did. Okay, there you go. So it's forcing me to interact with something there. And, okay, here to swing. And continue. Start by going to the tree. Now, keep in mind, this game, even though it was, has been available. Okay, use it to take down the tree. Then over here, like you see there, you can access your notebook. Contain, contains various information you see there and of course i could click through the pages like this too and over here i can change the profile which i already showed you guys and i could go back over here and end of tutorial that's it <laughs> okay cool cool every time you see something like a tip going on you're gonna see it like that to lock on on stuff on animals or something like that <laughs> and that's it okay so there goes your little tutorial I just want to start the game from the beginning that way you guys can have an idea how this game actually starts just in case you haven't tried it on your smartphone but like I said you can go right now on your smartphone and try this game as well now I don't know like I said I never tried this game on the smartphone so I really don't know how good does it look I did download it but I haven't tried it yet here I could go ahead and there you go 
knock the tree down. And while I'm knocking the tree down, like you see there, I'm actually collecting wood. I'm actually collecting wood. And the wood is going to be needed to, you know, craft a lot of things here, like an arrow and ball. Uh, this right here is like a, a, a spear. You got torches. This right here is like shot club. Uh, this right here is a titanium pickaxe. A boomerang. And if you keep on scrolling here, you're going to be able to access like other stuff that you need to do. Like, for example, bandages. This is bandages for when you're bleeding um, and other stuff there as well. So, of course, you also need to eat in this game. You need to eat. Let's go ahead. Walk around. I discovered a new location here, which is basically like this little camp right there. And every time you see something like that, just go ahead and press over here and you just collect it. And here, I can see, move. And to sleep, let's say it's nighttime, I can actually go ahead here and it'll just skip the nighttime. You'll see the night changing, and you could, uh, it'll go ahead and jump back into daytime. But you could, it's cool that you can actually see the transition between daytime and nighttime. And here, honestly, what you're doing, I don't know why it didn't actually ask me now if I wanted to play as, um, as an adventurer or something else. There was like three options, and I'm, it's weird that it didn't really ask me right now. Because when I started playing this game, I actually chose to, okay, I actually chose to, to play as an adventure game. Okay, that's nothing there. And like it's um, here, remember, right now you are dropped and... A huge island I don't know how big it is but it should be a big island and right now over here this you, you can see the pause that means there's like a certain some certain animal near you uh, but you're gonna get a lot of different animals like right here we got a little rabbit we could kill it if we want get some meat from it and later on you're gonna be you know using it to eat uh, like right now we could eat something here let's go ahead and eat that like you see over here I'm hungry. It reminds me a little bit of a game. I forgot the name of the game right now. Got my health back. Oh, another thing. If you click right here, it actually goes to third person view. But I really don't like the way the character looks. I don't know. It looks kind of, kind of ugly when you're playing like this. It, it looks way better like this. So that I need a pickaxe to destroy those type of rocks. Let's see if we can craft something already. Dun, dun, dun. No, not yet. Most of the times when you see something highlighted like this, that means that it can. You have all the need its uh, ingredients or supplies to craft it right here if i want to craft this spear i i already have the flints i need fiber and i need wood to complete all the ingredients to do a, uh, a spear okay something completed in my journal okay i can use this which uh right there just improved my hungriness <laughs> this was a coconut. I can eat it too. Move it over here. So I did play the. I was playing this game before before I made the video uh, for a couple days already. Um, but you know, I don't know. The the world feels so empty. And, and the only things that I've done in this game so far is like completing objectives, you know, completing objectives. And when I say objectives, 
I mean uh, these objects right here for example this right here you got like uh, scavenge resources that's complete find food that's complete it says craft your first weapon I need to do that and I can see there as I keep on going you can see all the things that I have to do like kill a zombie reach the center of find a revolver visit another island <laughs> so there's a lot of things to do here but you know that's the only thing I've been doing like you know completing objectives you know take taking stuff out of my list I've already got killed too you know I already got killed by a, a lion it's like a, a not a lion like a, mount, a mountain lion and I actually killed another mountain lion with the spear which was really easy to do I thought it was gonna be hard but it was actually really easy to kill uh, an animal with a spear Uh, for those asking, this game is around ten dollars. Is around ten dollars. Um, I think when you buy it for mobile devices, it's actually around five or six dollars. I think it is. Uh, there is like a free version. You could you could uh, try right now if you want, but it's a free version. You won't be able to do absolutely everything that you know the developer of this game actually wants you to do so you won't be able to I don't know how much how much of things you can do actually with the free version but I don't know I don't know um, today I, I also recorded another gameplay for rally I think it was a rally racers and like you guys know there's been like too many games coming out for the Nintendo switch and a lot of those games, sadly, is a whole bunch of port games. Games ported from uh, from iOS or Android to the to the Nintendo Switch. And I definitely knew that was going to happen because the Nintendo Switch, you know, as a portable device, it feels so great. And a lot of those games would fit perfectly here on the Nintendo Switch. But the problem is, is that you know not only the good games get passed over here to the nintendo switch even the bad games are gonna pass over too that's a bad thing you know and it's scary because every week every week we get like 10 15 new games every week that's insane imagine me trying to record all those games um on my channel it would be filled of you know good and crappy ass games so you know in a way it's good that we're getting a lot of those games because honestly in my opinion uh, I've been playing mobile games on phone and tablets for a long time and there's a whole bunch of great games triple awesome awesome games that work better with buttons and I don't have a, a problem with those games but there's a whole bunch of games that should honestly stay in mobile devices like smartphones and tablets they should not make it their, make their way to a, a hybrid console like the Nintendo Switch. Uh oh, it's getting dark already. So when it gets dark here, uh, sometimes you're gonna get some crazy animals. Uh oh, there's like a wolf there. Let me see if I can, crap, I can't do a spear. I can't do the ball. I can't do the shock. So I guess if I find a lion or something like that, I'm going to have to, um, oh, oh, damn dog. Oh, crap. There you go. <laughs> Killed him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm being surrounded. Like you see over here. Uh-oh. Let's get it. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm being surrounded. There's two. I could tell because you see those two arrows right there. I mean, there's two behind me.
Holy crap. Let me see the map. I am lost. Okay. So this is the whole map. And this is where we are. Right there. Oh. <laughs> You know what? I don't have a weapon no more. I'm gonna have to craft. There you go. Oh crap. Get the hell out of my way. Get the hell out of my way. Get the hell out of my way. I got you again, boy. Whew. There you go. I can't. I can't. Okay, did I survive the night? Uh oh. Uh oh. I hear something. I hear something. The and the the sound is also getting. Holy crap! Look at that! Look at that! There's two big ass. No! 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 Holy crap! Let's get the hell out of here. They're gonna kill me. And I need bandages too, because I'm bleeding. Oh crap, look at that. There's two of them. Let's see if I can find a, a freaking bed. Or something. No. Can you hear that? No, I can't sleep on this one. <laughs> oh. Okay, what the hell? Let's see if we can... Okay, what was that? Oh, look at this. Okay, let's use that. Let's move this over here. Move this over here. This, let's go move it over here too. There's something like snoring or something like that, or growling near me. Let's see, can I build something here? No, I still can't do nothing. Can't do the spear. Okay, so I guess we should be good. I see the lightning going on over there. Okay, so you know, just I just want to share this gameplay with you guys because I already have a couple people asking me for uh, you know to show how this game actually looks here on the Nintendo switch um, and this is how it looks you know honestly it does look pretty good you know it does look pretty good in my opinion uh, but you know this is just another you know smartphone game that has been transferred over here to the to the Nintendo switch and honestly uh, you know not like I said not every game should be brought here let's go let's go ahead here and sleep to the next day there you go Whew. there you go nice and shiny day uh oh i'm hungry i'm hungry okay i think i'm gonna die of starvation yep i think i'm gonna die here of starvation <laughs> yep See that? That means that uh, my time, 
I need to keep alive. I don't know if there's something over here in this box. Okay, this coconut. Let's use it. There you go. Use it. Use it. And use it. Or four. Whew. There you go. So we're good now. So that's how this game actually plays. You know, you have to go, you know, wandering around the world. You know, tr um, trying to find more people. You know, trying to find somebody else. Uh, try to figure out what's going on. Because like you see there in the beginning, you just appear here. There's no explanation whatsoever what's going on. Um, obviously, it's called Radiation Island, so it has to do with radiation. So, something's going on. You know, you have to figure out what's going on. And, you know, during nighttime, you know, th it, it gets a little scary. Uh, you have to look for materials, you know, start crafting your weapons. Let's see if we actually have. No, we still can't craft anything here. And I think we still can. Can we? We don't even have enough stuff to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. This is not good. Now we got a very, very bad fog going on. No. This thing better clear up. <laughs> okay. I don't know, there's nothing on. Let's knock this tree down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Holy crap, look at that. What is that? That's a freaking. Oh no! Oh crap. I'm punching him because I don't have a weapon. Easy. Oh wait, wait, no, no. Look at this. I could do a boomerang. I could do one of these axes. And we're dead. <laughs> and we're dead. There you have it. So we're dead. Like you see there, even if you are in your settings or in your, uh, you know, start menu there's no start menu even if you're there luckily when you're back here to holy crap it's still we still got the fog going on can we sleep oh no we can't sleep right now oh that sucks okay so guys i'm gonna end the video here it's getting long i just want to share this gameplay with you guys just to let you know how this game actually performs here uh, like I said, it does perform really good, you know, it, you know, it does feel good on the portable mode. Of course, this was a, you know, a game that was available on iOS and Android. So, of course, it's going to feel good in portable mode. Um, it does look pretty good, too. You can see the woods and the grass. The grass actually looks pretty nice. Uh, but when you go to go wall like this, I don't know, the character looks horrible. My opinion I don't know I don't like the way he looks I don't like the way he moves you know you can punch like that <laughs> you know he zooms in he locks into objects like that with the Y go here with these button right here you can see all these the backpack and that's it but uh, like this it looks way better like you see there it doesn't look that bad doesn't look that bad, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in, in the descriptions, guys. Um, and are you okay with all these games coming out for the being ported to the Nintendo Switch? Because like I said, I do like that some of the games are being ported because they feel way better on the, uh, you know, with button than with the touchscreen. But... Man, there's a lot of games that just should stay on smartphones, you know. But thanks for watching, guys. This was Radiation Island. Okay, I'll knock you down. Let me knock you down. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do it with this. 
I could do it with the other weapon that I was doing, but not with this one. Huh. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. I could do it with this one. With the stone axe. But not with that one. There's another house up there. And something, some animals over here. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was Radiation Island on the Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. <laughs> oh.